Hey guys, what is going on today? Tomcat here and welcome back to another build in Off-Road Outlaws. Now in this video, we're going to be doing one of the craziest builds that I have attempted yet. And we are going to be doing a maxed out, like, tremendous, tremendous crawler. We're going to be building this thing. This, this is the already the ultimate crawler uh, in the game. This is probably the craziest chassis you can start with. So we're going to pick up one of these and then we are going to go customize it and see what we can do straight off the bat. So roof lights, I mean, we can put kind of a variety. I'm going to put a light bar because I feel like why not, but it's, well, no, actually I'm going to take that off because I just want it to be a proper cage. Um, none of those either. A winch, I'm okay with running. Front lights, don't need them. Repair pack, where does it go? Uh, we can, yeah, we can run that. Roof lights, okay, so that's about it. That's all we, that's all we get in terms of like, you know, standard mods. Now the paint, I'm wondering if, oh no, so that paints the actual cage and then that I'm guessing doesn't change from that like purple. So um, that will, hmm. I kind of want to do something. If I'm going to do a painted cage, it's got to be something that pops, like that orange. But it kind of, it, it looks weird against that purple, and so does the blue. I, I'm going to run the blue anyway. I'm going to run the blue anyway, and then, wheels-wise, I don't really know what I want for, like, a crazy crawler. Because I know I want something that looks, you know, properly beadlocked and everything, but those will work. I'm also trying to use wheels that I haven't used on anything else, and those definitely, definitely fit that bill. So, um, what about, oh, we can match them to the cage. Yeah, I mean, it's like, why not match them to the cage? And then from here, tire options, I want to stick with these, like, Baja Claw style tires, because I, I, I like them. I think they look good, and let's do, okay, so this is where it's going to get crazy. Everything is... Like, everything is going to get maxed out. Absolutely everything. And by the way, I don't know how you can take weight out of a buggy, but apparently we figured out a way. Uh, no diesel swap. Durability is up all the way. Um, we're going to leave it automatic, obviously, because, it, I mean, I feel like it's proper to leave, a, a, like, a rock bouncer automatic because they are all automatic. Um, so we'll get the e-brake on it. Tracks, don't really want it on this build. Um, I don't think it, it fits this build. Um, so tuning-wise... Now, suspension, crawler, solid axle, that's it. Okay, so crawler, solid axle is all you get, which means we are going to, I was clicking the wrong thing, we're going to have to, let's see, axis width, kind of want to build the most ridiculous thing possible, <laughs> the most absolutely ridiculous rig we could possibly do, but we'll come back to dampening, shocks, uh, we'll do... Are these behind? Mm. We'll do number ones on these, or on this particular build. Stiffness will come back to shock size. Like a one, well, 1. 1.2. Um, travel. Travel is going to be like a 0.45. And then axle type. Oh, you can go like, you can go to like freaking crazy you know what we may as well we may as well go to like full-on crazy axle brakes and like everything so that would be what like a two and a half ton axle that's that's just that's just nuts now let's see for for damping i i don't know what i want to do for dampening just yet so i'm not gonna like i'm not going to do too much with it just yet axle width is gonna be maxed dampening we're gonna leave alone Shock one, and then stiffness we're going to leave alone for now. Travel, what is it in the front? Travel in the front is 0.45. So travel in the rear is going to be 0.45 as well. And then rear steer, rear steer, I, I mean, let's do half for now because I've never really messed with the rear steer before in this game, and I don't want it to, like, freak out and go nuts. So axle type is going to be, again, full-on, you know, crazy axle brakes, you know, beefiest axles we can possibly fit under this thing. And then we'll do some testing, and then I think in a later video we may come back and do more uh, with those, uh, with the dampening settings and stuff like that. Now, wait a minute, we forgot something in the rear. Uh, shock size, 1.3. 
and travel. Okay, we already did travel in the rear, so that's fine. Wheels and tires now. So wheel radius, it's going to be maxed out all the way. Going to max that, but we don't want pizza cutters. So we're going to go to probably a one point. Yes. 1.6. We can do that. Oh, God, it's such a weird split right now. That's just, that's like, that's just goofy looking. All right, wheel width. Mm. Radius is going to be maxed, and then that's going to be, I think, a 1.6 as well. So there's our fully built, ready to go rock bouncer. And I'm not going to adjust the gears just yet, and I'm not going to put it on the virtual test rig either, because I want to take this thing out and just see what it can do. I, I just want to see what it can do uh, right off the bat. No, no testing, no nothing. We're taking it to the rock park, and we're going to see what this thing has. Right off the bat, I don't think I've ever built anything in this game that's more menacing than that. But let's let's see. Without any further ado, I want to bring the gauges back up. And three, two, one, go! Oh, so there's the rear steer coming into play. That definitely works. I wonder how it'll do through here. So this will be our first test as to how... Oh, it does really well. God, it's got so much power. It's got so much power. It, the power is ridiculous. Whoop. Get a little dab of brakes before we go up this hill. Not going to do any of the, like, the actual, you know, in-game kind of trial type things. I just want to test this thing out and see what it'll actually do. I'm leaving it in free camera so I can kind of move the camera around whenever I want. It's got so much torque that I have not needed low range yet at all. I haven't needed it at all whatsoever. Uh, I might go ahead and go for it now, though. Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot. Now, when your tires are this big, little dips in the terrain don't really come into your mind. They just kind of like, they just, you know, you kind of just glaze over them. So you're not really, you're not really at all concerned about them. Let's see, slowly see how we can make it across this gap. Here we go. Oh God. Back it up, please. There we go. Oh! Yes, 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 yes! Holy crap! Oh, wow. So, basically, the only way we were going to make it up that hill was to go nuts. And, uh, it turns out that we, uh, we did. We, we, we were able to make it up by going nuts. Oh, my God. I haven't had any vehicles before that have been able to make it up that, that hill quite like that. Those pipes for? I've never been out there. Let's go. I mean, I was thinking about going back to, like, follow cam, but there's really no point in follow cam when you have free cam. You know what I mean? Like, when you can just, like, put the camera wherever you want it. So, I suppose these are literally just for climbing over. So, let's go low range. easy. I mean, really no, uh, no trouble there at all. When this thing revs up, it, it is just, it's a, such a screamer. I might actually go for one of these trails and see how we can do. Interestingly enough, the e-brake doesn't actually work all that well when you're talking about, um, when you're talking about four-wheel steering. And go! Alright, stay focused. This literally just like a run along this like, along, whoa! Along this creek bed. Wow, this thing just like shot off in one ran, like in a random direction. That's also the other thing about the four wheel steer is it's not great for high speed. And when you turn, the regular brakes kind of become the e-brake in, in terms of, like, dynamics. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, up and over! 
on, come on, come on, come on. Is that the end? Yeah, so it's just a little circuit. I don't know what our target time was, but... Copper. Okay, so world record. 24 seconds! Oh my god, that's fast. Oh my god, that is... That's ridiculously fast. I don't even know how you get that fast. What do we have over here? Oh, okay. So we do have a little area we can test out. We should bring the Raptor here, the Raptor trophy truck here. Although, I gotta say, this thing soaks up bumps pretty well for what it is. I mean, it's no trophy truck, but... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's the roof. Uh, I was gonna say, like, when is the little, like, pop-up gonna come up for the, um... Oh, God, what's it called? Uh, for flipping your truck back over. Oh, I know exactly what we need to try climbing, though. Let's go ahead and try that e-brake one more time. Nope. It just plowed straight on. And again, it's because of the four-wheel steering. It's because of the way the four-wheel steering is set up. All right, and low range. Let's do this. Come on, go, go, go. It bounces too much. Oh God, yeah, it bounces way too much. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to vary the throttle. Because I was thinking I could just, like, floor it and go. It turns out I was a little, little off on that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, even with, like, all of the upgrades, there's still... There's still obstacles in the game that will really put this thing through a good challenge. Oh, 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 Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Probably shouldn't be hanging out on the rev limiter as much as I am, but... I partially, I don't know, I partially have a habit of doing that, so... Oh, no, 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 don't fall back! Come on, I need you to get up that hill. I just, I need you to get up that hill, dude. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go. We're further on than we were before. Oh, not terrible, not terrible. Dude. Oh, God, oh, God. Do not go back down. Do not fall back down. I mean, we fell back down a little bit, but not far enough for it to make a massive difference. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, dude, no. All right, well, I tell you what, we're going to make a little bit of a, uh, we're going to make a little bit of a run around the, around the outside edge. And, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I mean, it wasn't, it, it may not have been the, it may not have been the, you know, the perfect way up that hill, but hey, I mean, this thing still made it, and what a beast it is, like, a fully maxed out rock bouncer is definitely a formidable rig. So if you guys enjoyed this build and offer it outlaws, don't forget to slam that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more daily videos every day here on the channel. And I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.